Hello friends, in this video now I am going to take this topic cofactor and prosthetic group. Cofactor, coenzyme, prosthetic group, these different terms are used at different places in the book and you people get confused. So, that is why I am taking this topic so that I make this thing very clear for you. So, let us get started. I told you enzymes are proteins, but there is one exception that is RNA acting as enzyme known as ribozyme, right? But most enzymes are proteins and most enzymes require non protein portion also. They have a protein portion, but they also require non protein portion. So, see here, most enzymes require a non protein portion also, and when they together combine, then it is known as active enzyme. Only when these both things are present, then only it is active enzyme. Now, active enzyme is known as Holo enzyme, the protein portion is known as EPO enzyme, and non protein portion is of two types. If the non protein portion can be separated from the protein portion, then it is known as cofactor. But if the non protein portion cannot be separated from the protein portion, then it is known as prosthetic group, right? Now, cofactor is further of two types organic and inorganic. So, cofactor can be organic or inorganic. Inorganic example metal. And so, I am saying cofactor is of two types, organic also, inorganic also, but prosthetic group is most of the time inorganic, that is a metal, right? It is mostly a metal. Now, if cofactor is organic, then it is known as coenzyme. So, the name changes to coenzyme. But if the cofactor is inorganic, then the same name cofactor is used. So, I repeat, the general term is cofactor. So, we can use this cofactor term anywhere, whether it is organic or it is inorganic. If it is organic, then the name changes to coenzyme. And if it is inorganic, then the same name cofactor is used. Can I say metals are cofactors but not coenzymes? Right? Now, there is one more thing to see here on this page. Metals can be prosthetic group, metals can be cofactor. If some enzyme is using metal as cofactor, then it is known as metal activated enzyme. If some enzyme is using metal as prosthetic group, then it is known as metallo enzyme. See the name, metal activated enzyme when it is cofactor. See the name metal activated means only if the metal is present, then the enzyme gets activated. But if metal is not present, then it is not activated means metal can be separated also. That is, it is a cofactor. But when the term metallo enzyme is used, that is metal is always there with the enzyme, then that means metal cannot be separated means it is prosthetic group, right? Now, let us see all the examples of coenzymes. Coenzymes, one example is lipoic acid. I told you five coenzymes are used in link reaction and TCA. That is lipoic acid and other four are B complex vitamins, right? So, one is lipoic acid acting as coenzyme. Others are vitamins act as coenzyme and only water soluble vitamins and all the water soluble vitamins act as coenzyme. That is all the B complex vitamins and also vitamin C. But tell me, is there any fat soluble vitamin which acts as coenzyme? There is one, and that is vitamin K is the only fat soluble vitamin which acts as coenzyme, and it acts as coenzyme in the carboxylation, in the gamma carboxylation of glutamate present in the clotting proteins, pro, pro, clotting protein prothrombin, right? So this is vitamin acting as coenzyme. Other is, the third category is nucleotide also act as coenzyme, that is NAD, NADP, FAD and FMN, all these are nucleotides which act as coenzyme, right? So, can I say one line that lipoic acid is a coenzyme but not a vitamin, right? Note down this line, lipoic acid is a coenzyme but not a vitamin. Now, see, there are two nucleotides, SAM and PAPS. SAM is S adenosyl methionine which is a methyl donor paps is phosphoadenosyl phosphosulfate phosphoadenosyl phosphosulfate so sam is methyl donor paps is sulfate donor so can i say sam and paps are nucleotides but not coenzymes they're not helping any enzyme right but these are themselves methyl and sulfate donor, right? So, you tell me which nucleotide acts as coenzyme? NAD, NADP, FMN, FAD are nucleotides which act as coenzyme, but SAM and PAPS are nucleotides but not coenzymes, right? 
Now, magnesium as a metal is required for so many categories of enzymes. That is, magnesium is required for all the kinases, all the phosphorylases. You know, kinase transfer organic phosphate, phosphorylase transfer inorganic phosphate, and also magnesium is required for carboxylases. There is ABC of carboxylase also you have to learn. A for ATP, B for biotin, vitamin B7 and C for carbon dioxide. Any carboxylase requires ATP, biotin, magnesium and carbon dioxide, right? Then also see copper metal is required for which category of enzymes? Copper is required for all the oxidases. All oxidases require copper like cytochrome C oxidase, tyrosinase is also an oxidase. Vitamin C, that is, we will say ascorbic acid oxidase, then amino acid oxidase, amino acid oxidase, then also lysyl oxidase. All these oxidases require copper, and there is one more enzyme which requires copper, that is, cytoplasmic SOD requires copper. Cytoplasmic SOD is cytoplasmic superoxide dismutase. But let me tell you, Mitochondrial SOD, mitochondrial superoxide dismutase enzyme requires manganese. So, it is easy to learn M for mitochondria, M for manganese, C for copper, C for cytoplasm. So, cytoplasmic SOD requires copper, but mitochondrial SOD requires manganese, right? Now, also there are two oxidases which do not require copper. They are xanthine oxidase and sulphite oxidase. Both these enzymes, both these oxidases, xanthine and sulphite oxidase, they require molybdenum. They require molybdenum, right? So, this is it with this topic. Thanks for watching. Best wishes to you.